Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a s'more ice cream pop from the ground up. Homemade s'more ice cream dipped in marshmallow and torched to perfection. All right, let's get started. The first item of business is the s'more ice cream. So in a mixing bowl, add in heavy cream, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, and finally a pinch of salt. Then give it a good whisk for a minute or so. After that, you're gonna transfer the sweet spiced cream into an ice cream machine or a KitchenAid attachment like I have here. Turn it on and wait for it to whip up. Once the spiced ice cream is ready to go, remove it from the ice cream machine and scrape off any of the excess ice cream off of the attachments that you have. Then you're gonna add in some chopped dark chocolate to it, give it a good mix and fold everything together. Then it's gonna go back in the freezer to set up for a little bit, but probably no more than an hour or so as long as your freezer is not in the middle of a defrost cycle. So just uh, check on that. But as soon as it's done setting up, take it out of the freezer, scoop out as many scoops as you can get from the batch and place them onto a frozen tray so they don't melt as you're scooping. Once it's all scooped out, stick them back in the freezer and do not forget to skewer them before they become a little too hard. All right, so next up is the marshmallow dip. So in a saucepan, you're gonna add in a splash of water, granulated white sugar, and the corn syrup. Then you're gonna bring this to a boil and wait for it to get to about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. But while that's going on, you're gonna add the gelatin to a small bowl along with cold water, and make sure you stir it as soon as you add the water to avoid any lumps of dry gelatin powder. And you're gonna let it sit for a few minutes after to ensure that it blooms. As soon as the syrup has reached the 240 degrees Fahrenheit mark and the gelatin is set, you're gonna add the bloomed gelatin to the bowl of a stand electric mixer with the whisk attachment. Then turn on the mixer to low speed and begin slowly drizzling the hot syrup down one side of the mixing bowl until the gelatin starts to melt. After that, you're gonna increase the speed of the mixer to medium and begin to speed up the pouring rate until the rest of the syrup is in there. After that, turn the mixer on to high speed and let it whip up for about three minutes or so to about five or six times its volume or until it starts to resemble a very sticky version of whipped cream. Then it is time to dip. All right, so now that the marshmallow dip's ready to go, grab your skewered ice cream scoops and a little cup or bowl that's filled up with some sugar, foam, or a clip system to hold each skewer after they're dipped. And you're gonna to begin to quickly but methodically dip the ice cream scoops into the insanely satisfying whipped marshmallow mixture until all of your scoops are completely covered. Just be sure not to hold the scoops in the warm marshmallow for too long, otherwise it will melt and ruin the marshmallow dip. So just keep that in mind. But once that's done, they're gonna go back into the freezer for about 30 minutes just to set up a little bit and to set that marshmallow. Then it's time for the fun part. All right, so now that the s'more ice cream pop is ready to go, pull it out of the freezer and toast it up to perfection with a torch, a stove burner, or the most perfect of techniques for this would probably be a wood burning campfire. And that's it. Here's your s'more ice cream pop.
gosh. All right, so I got my torch, I got my s'more pop. This looks really, really good. I'm excited to test this out. But the, um, the idea behind the s'more pop um, was a guy named Dominic Anzel. He has a wonderful bakery in New York, London, and I believe Tokyo now. And he was just awarded the best pastry chef in the world uh, award by Pellegrino. Um, they do this event every year to announce the top 50 or top 100 restaurants in the world. And they've been adding on different awards here and there, like best pastry chef, best new rising chef, you know, best new young chef, and you know, things like that. So um, that's where I got the idea. Dominic Anzel is a beast of a pastry chef, super, super cool. That's where the inspiration came from. I'm gonna torch this because I can feel it melting already and have at it. So cool. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm. Wow. Very, very good. Love the idea behind this. Very, very simple. Ice cream, marshmallow. I mean, definitely not a hard concept to grasp. Getting down the process and all the steps and making sure the temperature is right for the ice cream and all, all that stuff is really sort of the complicated aspect behind this dish. But if you get those down, you get the recipe down and you kind of get comfortable with it, you could definitely knock a few dozen of these out. No problem within a few hours. And they're very, very fun. You could even roast this over a campfire, um, you know, if you kind of timed it all right. So definitely very fun to play with, a fun idea. Definitely want to thank Dominic Anzel for thinking this up. He does it a little differently. It's more square. Um, but again, he, I don't know why I didn't think of frozen s'more idea a long time ago, um, but I guess that's for the best pastry chef in the world. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, I'm going to be featuring this as an off the menu secret, off the menu um, item for a pop-up that I'm gonna be doing with a cook named Matt, Matt Broussard. The cook named Matt is his Instagram um, profile name. I'm gonna be doing a pop-up with him this Sunday, May 7th at Pike Place Market in Seattle. It's a taqueria themed menu. So lots of good tacos, homemade flour tortillas, homemade corn tortillas, lots of fun different flavors with that menu. But the s'more pop is gonna be a secret item that's off the menu. Um, so if you guys end up buying a ticket, which is gonna be in my description box below, so make sure you go check it out, make sure you ask for a s'more pop and I will be very happy to provide one. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe, this idea. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you guys are enjoying what you see on this beautiful foodie channel. And that's it guys. I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Or if you guys end up coming to the pop-up, I'll see you there. Bye guys.